For more information regarding the civil engineering concepts, please follow my website civilbasics123.com. So go to type civilbasics123.com in Google. So that my website will be open here like this. It will be consisting of all detailed concepts related to your expected civil engineering concepts. So yesterday I was updated a post which is related to the what is the slab and different types of the slabs and what is the difference between the one-way slab system and two-way slab system for the building construction process. So it will be consisting of detailed concepts here like this. So please follow my website civilbasics123.com. In this video lecture, I will explain you time history analysis of G plus 3 building structure by using StatPro V8A software. So in my previous videos, I was already explained uh, seismic analysis, wind load analysis and response spectrum analysis by using StatPro software. So in this video, I will cover the concept which is related to the time history analysis by using StatPro V8A software. Okay. So for that, initially we need to uh, save the earthquake analysis data to your respected design folder. Okay, so before going to the uh, modeling process of the structure, initially we need to create the folder at the desktop. So here I was created a folder which is related to the time folder. So initially we need to save the earthquake data from the StatPro V8A software uh, files. Okay, so for that go to your PC. So in this we need to select the uh, local disk C option. So in this we need to select the StatPro SS5 version. If you have SS6, you can select the SS6 version also. So in this, we need to select the STAD option. So from this, we need to select the example EXAMP file. So here I'm selecting. In this, we need to select the Indian IND file. Okay. So it will be consisting of different types of the code uh, values for the respective structure. So here it will be consisting of EQ data dot txt file format, which is related to the text document. Okay. So from this, we need to pick EQ data dot txt file format. So firstly, we have to copy this file. So here I'm copying this So close option again, go to your respected uh, modeling folder. So save your options here like this. Okay. So here I was saved this file to my uh, time folder, which is related to the EQ data dot txt file format okay so this is important file for uh, making the time history analysis by using StatPro software so now i am opening the model which is related to the g plus 3 building structure model so now we can see this is my building structure model it will be consisting of approximately of 17 meter length for the building structure again it will be consisting of approximately of 11 meter width again it will be consisting of approximately of 15 meter height okay so now I will show you what are the properties that I was applied for this respected building. Go to general option for this structure. I was taking 0 0.4 cross 0 0.4 is the column size and 0 0.4 cross 0 0.3 is the beam size and plate thickness will be consisting of approximately 125 mm. Okay. So after modeling process completed, now we are to assign the load cases. So firstly, we have to define the load cases, which is comes under the seismic load cases for the time history case. Okay. So go to define option. This time selecting the uh, load which is related to the seismic case. So for that just I'm selecting here as seismic definition add button. So in this we need to select the as per the IS codal provision 2015. So click on generate option. So from this generated properties we need to add the parameters as per the zone. Just I'm selecting the zone which is related to the zone 5 with special RC moment resisting frame all general building with the medium soil condition click on generate option. So after that we have to add the Damping ratio here, just I'm selecting here as 0.05 value. Okay. So click on add option. So again, we have to add the self weight factor as one. Again, in the same process, we have to add the member weight for the respected uniform load. So initially, we need to calculate the wall load condition system for the respected member load. So firstly, we have to calculate the external wall load. Just I'm taking 0.23 is the thickness of the external wall multiplied by 20 unit weight of the brickwork multiplied by each floor height, which is approximately of 13.8. Again, in the same process, just I'm calculating the internal wall load 0 0.125 multiplied by 20 multiplied by each floor height, which is consisting of 7.3. Again, in the same process, just I'm taking one more load, which is related to the parapet wall load 0 0.125 multiplied by your respected 20 multiplied by 1.2 meter height, which is equals to three value. So three plus uh, 7.5 plus approximately of uh, 13.8 so that it can get the value is approximately 24.3. So firstly, we have to consider this weight as 24.3 value for the respective structure. So click on add option. So again, in the same process, we have to select the uh, floor load condition system. So here I'm considering the floor load, which is consisting of approximately of minus two, which is acting at a distance of Y range of uh, six meter. Again, I'm selecting here as maximum as 15 meter. Okay. So whatever the load cases that we are adding in the 
uh, dead loading condition we need to take the same amount okay so again we have to select the uniform load assign to v option assign option yes option okay so after adding the load cases we need to define the time history definition okay so this is the important part in time history analysis so for that firstly we have to click on the time history definition option so click on add option so it will be consisting of two types of input values which is related to the t defined time history and defined program okay so here we have to select the defined time history initially so now we have to select the integration time period setup so initially we need to start with integration time period setup which is equals to 0.001 seconds option so again we have to select the type here so type will be consisting of one again loading type will be consisting of three types of the seismic loading condition which is related to the acceleration forces and moments okay so from this we need to select the acceleration only why because we are studying the time period frequency values under the time history case so that's why we need to select the acceleration and we have to click on the save option here okay so now we have to select the function type so it will be consisting of function type which is approximately of defined time versus acceleration harmonic function and from the external file file name okay so again it will be consisting of spectrum data here okay so don't do anything in the spectrum data just we have to select the function option here so here as per our definition we are added the uh, function from file for the ethnic data so select this respected option and give the file name so here in this folder we are taking the file name is eq.data.txe okay so here we have to click on the rename option so again we have to click on the copy option here okay so now we have to go to the stat pro software click on paste here again we have to uh, keep the dot txt format here like this okay so click on add option so that it will add the eq data file again we have to select that data pattern so again it will be consisting of your respected damping ratio here like this and cd amp and the md amp file okay so here we have to select the damping ratio is 5 percentage which is approximately equal to 0 0.05 okay so in this we need to select the uh, arrival time now we have to take the arrival time here so for the respected arrival time we need to take the 10 number of the uh, node points here so here i am taking one second for the first number again i am taking 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 again in the same process just i am taking 10 here okay sorry 10 here okay so click on add button so that it will add the time history data in this respected time history definition so click on close option so now we have to select the load case details option click on add button so here i am selecting primary load case which is related to the seismic loading condition initially just i am giving the name is earthquake load which is in x condition system click on add option so again i am selecting the earthquake load which is in z direction condition system for the respected building again in the same process we have to select the dead loading condition just i am giving the title is dl add button again i am taking live loading condition again i am taking the live load ll add button so now we have to say select the time history definition data okay so for that we have to select the none option on the last so now we have to select the time history analysis as the name okay so click on add option so firstly we have to select the earthquake load x direction click on add select the seismic definition option so just i'm selecting seismic load which is in x direction with factor one add close select the earthquake load in z click on add so from this i'm selecting seismic load with z value direction with factor one add button close option select the dead loading condition so here we have to uh, give the uh, self weight for the respective structure under dead load initially so after that we have to calculate the member load which is related to the all wall load condition system just i'm taking 24.3 is the value which is act in gy direction click on add so again in the same process we have to enter the floor load which is consisting of approximately of minus 2 which is acting at a distance of approximately of 6 meter for the respected first slab and last slab will be consisting of 15 meter so click on add button so again we have to click on the close option so now we have to assign this respected uh, self weight by using assign to v option assign yes select the uniform load go to select option uh, beams parallel to firstly we have to deselect beams parallel to x direction again i'm selecting beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams assign option yes option again in the same process we have to select the live load click on add so here i am selecting the flow load condition system which is consisting of approximately minus 2.5 kilonewton per meter square which is acting at a distance of again 6 again this respected value will be of 15 
click on add option close option so after that we have to add the time history definition data select the time history analysis so click on add option so initially we need to add the cell fit in all directions so here i am selecting cell fit in x direction with one value again i am selecting cell fit with y direction one value z direction with one value now in the same process we have to add the member load which is related to the 24.3 in all the direction which is related to the zx direction again in the same process we have to add gz direction click on add so after that we have to add the uh, floor load condition system under the dead load so select the floor load condition which is consisting of approximately of minus 2 which is acting at a distance of 6 as well as your respected 15 value okay so here no need to mention the minus value so click on two option so click on add button okay so after adding this respected all the load cases we need to add the time history load also okay so for that go to select the time history option again it will be consisting of your respected time load and ground motion value okay so from this initially we need to select the ground motion value so from this respected definition part it will be consisting of arrival time which is related to the defined 10 node point sections again it will be consisting of defined type as the acceleration so here i am selecting arrival time is approximately of 10 seconds let us consider an example again in the same process just i am selecting the acceleration okay so here i am selecting force amplitude factor is one which is act in x direction condition so click on add option close option so after that select the self weight option by using assign to view assign yes option select the self weight in y assign to view assign yes self weight in z assign to view assign yes select the uniform load for the beams go to select option beams parallel to x direction condition go to select option beams parallel to z direction click on assign to selected beams assign yes again y direction condition assign to selected beams assign yes again z direction condition assign to selected beams assign yes option okay so after applying all the load cases now we have to add the load combinations also select the load case details click on add again select the auto load combination as per the indian codal provisions so click on select general structures click on generate option so that it will add the load combinations here like this click on add option click on close option now we have to analyze this structure go to analysis and print add your no print option close option go to analyze option click on run analysis option save option so that it will the run analysis process for the respected g plus 3 structural model under considerations of the time history analysis now here we have to check for the zero errors under considerations so here my model is checking for the zero errors for the respected g plus 3 building under time history analysis so here now we can see here my model was obtained with zero errors go to post processing mode option click on done option so click on apply your all load cases click on ok so select the time history load case and you can select any one of the mode under consideration so if you change the time period here the value will be changes here now you can see this is the time period for the respected considerations of 0 point some 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 value so in the same process it will change the time period value for the respected structure so here I am selecting one value for the respected building click on enter so let us consider uh, whether the time period will be changes or not so here I am changing my time period value so now you can see it is changing so go to select the beam option select the time period which is consisting of the time period here like this for the respected mode 5 this is the shear uh, bending one diagram so again we have to select the shear force diagram so this is the shear force diagram so you can click on the graph value so this is the graph value for the respected consideration in the same process it will be consisting of the stress diagram here like this okay so select the forces diagram here like this so go to select the plate pressure apply your stress type is absolute pressure click on apply click on okay so this is the maximum absolute pressure under considerations of time history with the mode 5 and with the time period of 1 okay so in the same process we have to see the uh, response values as well as your respected uh, time uh, time frequency values for the respective structure of g plus 3 so that is the important so for that we have to click on the stat output file option so that my stat output file will be loaded here like this select the results option so you can select the eisen solution so now you can see this is the eisen solutions value for the respected consideration it will be consisting of mode number 1 to 9 again it will be consisting of frequency values again it will be consisting of time period values again it will be consisting of accuracy values okay so in the same process it will be consisting of mass time period weights for the respected structure again it will be consisting of damping ratio for the considerations of the structure okay so now we can see this is the base shear maximum base shear for the respective structure under considerations of the building with the time history analysis okay so this is the complete process of time history analysis of 
G Place 3 building structural model by using uh, StatPro V8i software. So if you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. For more information regarding the civil engineering concepts, please follow my website civilbasics123.com. Thank you.